In cricket, Ravlakot Hawks have won the inaugural Kashmir Premier League title. The Hawks beat the Muzaffarabad Tigers by seven runs in the final. Chasing 170 runs, tar Tigers were restricted to 162, courtesy of economical spells by Hussein Thalath and Asif Afridi. Zishan Ashraf top scored with 46, while Mohammad Vasim added 22 for the Tigers. Asif Afridi and Hussein Thalath took three wickets each for the victorious side. For more on this, we are joined by Mr. Ali Mehdi, a cricket expert speaking to us from Islamabad. Ali, thank you so much for speaking to Indus News. Now, Ali, with the conclusion of the first Kashmir Premier League, how would you rate the overall success of the event? I thought it was a fantastic event. Um, it was extremely well organized. It was very well done. It was very well marketed. And above all, you know, you had superstars from all over the world, all over the country, and you also, um, you know, all around the country who came and participated in it. The best thing about it that there was a lot of uncertainty going into the event. Nobody was sure how it was going to pan out, whether it was going to be well organized or not. But I thought the organizer did a great job. Most of all, you had a competitive cricket, you had close games, and um, you had full backing from the country and uh, the organizers uh, and the players too. So overall, I think it was a very well organized event. Um, and then at the same time, you had a very good final too. So I think it was given the green signal. It did extremely well and um, you know, long may it continue. So Ali, the first season of the league featured participants primarily from the local cricket infrastructure. Do you see the tournament's following seasons uh, gaining a greater international attraction? I do think so. I think that right now uh, that uh, the uh, the event itself um, this is, it's going to be a huge attraction going forward. You know, look, this was the first the season. It was a litmus test as to how, whether this kind of, uh, this uh, league will continue to. But um, overall, I thought you know being played in Muzaffarabad, um, having good organisation, having you know good cricketers too. Um, everybody gave it their best, and um, at the same time, I thought you know it was very well marketed, very well covered on television. Now, overall, I think it was a fantastic spectacle and um, going forward, I do think this will continue um, because of uh, the overall success it had. All right. So having provided an opportunity to the Kashmir cricketing youth to display their talent at such a grand scale, can you name a few stars that emerged from this league? Yeah, I do think so. Um, I think some new players have actually emerged from this league too. Uh, a lot of new players have come, you know, you have the likes of Kashif Ali who did very well. You have a huge talent pool which has actually come through. Um, uh, some uh, old uh, cricketers, you know, obviously there's some legends of the game like Shahid Afridi, Mohammad Hafiz, you know, so, so, sort of players are still very much there. But, you know, some new players have come. I thought Dane, uh, this Kashif Ali is a huge find for Pakistan going forward. You had some Kashmiri players who also came through. So overall, you know, and some Prince players who hadn't been playing for a while, they also proved that you know that this league is a very competitive one. So overall, I do think that it's going to increase the talent pool for um, uh, for Pakistan cricket. Right. So how can uh, the Pakistan Cricket Board contribute to further nurturing their cricketing skills? I think that, uh, you know, uh, for, first of all, that this league may should continue. We should have it every August. At the same time, too, um, it's important to have competitive cricket. Should it be in the form of domestic cricket, uh, the PSL, you know, the National T20 and the 50 over event, too. These leagues must continue and then so that you can have this talent pool which is coming through. Through this event, you saw that there's so much talent in Pakistan that they just need good nurturing and they could, they need good guidance too. If, you know, if given the opportunity, they can shine at all levels. So uh, it, what it does is it's good for Pakistan cricket because we've got two uh, T20 World Cups coming this year in Dubai, in the, in the UAE, and next year in Australia too. So it's going to help Pakistan going forward and um, it's only going to do benefit for Pakistan on a local level and on an international level. All right. Ali Mehdi, thank you so much for speaking to Indus News.